Welcome back, folks. It's Bobo the Vulture, and it is, uh... Let's play Pandemic 2. So let's get back to playing it. By which I mean, uh... Starting the clock, moving quickly again. Because, yeah, there's not a whole lot of, like, direct attacking or anything that you do in this game. You just sort of... Let the disease run its course. Let the illness run its course. Or feed it. Something like that. But, uh... This is a game um, that, uh, you know, as you'll see once we eventually start giving ourselves some fun little symptoms to make all of the people across the world that have this disease suffer, uh, this is really a game for people that like filling out tech trees. Which, I mean, let's all... Let's all be honest with ourselves. It's 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 fun to fill out tech trees. It's fun to, you know, like, hey, if I get this skill and I get this skill, I'm going to unlock this tier of skills, and then I can become a total badass. Or, you know, super magical, or... Jeez, Argentina's turning red. That's maybe because there are more sick people in Argentina now than there are healthy people. Although... Yep, India and the Middle East. That just leaves the one. Come on. You know you want to get infected with this disease, Madagascar. You know you do. I think I think Madagascar knows it does. It's it's got to. Hmm, hurricanes in Canada. Here I am. Wrong you like a hurricane. Actually, when was the last time a series of hurricanes hit Canada? Uh generally those they'll develop uh, you know, around the Atlantic, like, you know, sort of maybe to the middle to lower latitudes of the United States, down into the Caribbean, Mexico, like around there. I really feel like the prevailing weather patterns for hurricanes are right around here, not so much up here. But, you know, maybe I'm just being a stickler. Maybe I'm being a stick stickly. I don't know. But either way, just to, uh, just to reemphasize this point, I'm a big deal in Dominica. And Dominica, that makes you a big deal to me. I thank you, as I do all of my viewers, every time I complete a video, at least I try. Um, thank you for watching. Um, and uh, in a way, I realize this is maybe an odd homage, but uh, it uh, at least makes a mild amount of sense for the one viewer in Dominica that I know has watched one of my Let's Plays. It makes sense. So they're studying medical school down there. And uh, I'm guessing in theory, I guess Cuba would be the land mass that Dominica would fall in probably for this game, would be that region. But uh, be right there in that little, that little cross, which signifies that this area has a hospital. Uh oh. Uh-oh, okay, people are starting to panic. That's bad. China's shutting down its public transit. And handing out water. Closing their schools. And they're enforcing curfews. Closing their airports. They're declaring martial law. Using pesticides. Wow. China's really trying to nip this thing, well... They're trying to nip this thing in the bud, although it's clearly too late to do that. But yeah, look at this. Okay, they aren't burning dead bodies in the square yet, because nobody's actually died from the disease. That's true. China's completely isolated themselves down, even though at this point, the disease might be completely benign. Uh-oh. The world's governments have begun researching a vaccine. <sighs> Crap. This is 
really bad news, folks. It's bad news because the disease hasn't spread to Madagascar yet. The disease needed to spread to Madagascar before they started completing, uh, attempting to complete this uh, vaccine. Because at this point, the way to block the vaccine is to freak out countries so much that uh, that they close down their hospitals. And if we freak out countries so much that they're going to close down their hospitals, Madagascar is definitely going to close down that one port they have. This is just a lesson for you folks at home. If uh, a giant worldwide, uh, you know, disease phenomenon happens, um, the safest place to be is Madagascar, unless the disease starts there. But, uh, oh crud, what to do, what to do? Well, okay, so they already know that it exists, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to try and make it more catching. Oh, it is noticeable. Those are two good ones to have. Alright, let's see what happens now. Yes, the disease has arrived in Madagascar! Nothing can stop us now, folks. There was basically, depending on whether they decided, yeah, okay. Okay, good, 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 good. Every part of the world has someone with the disease in it. Now, what we basically need to do is have a little fun with the disease. Let's unlock a tier of symptoms. Ataxia. It's a slightly noticeable condition that impedes movement in the, infect in the infected. It doesn't actually do anything like to make them uh, terrible or anything. Okay. We have 29 points, so we can get some of the highest up uh, tier symptoms here, unfortunately. Not ones that are really exciting or sexy. Well, I mean, those ones aren't exciting or sexy. We could get, uh... We could get insanity. But I think at this point we need to focus on things that will make people just die. Let's uh, let's go with necrosis. Let's just have people's bodies just die. Yeah. And then we only have seven evolution points after that. So let's put them into... Oh, we can't buy boils. Can we buy cysts? We could. Or we could give people a fever. Fever is a good thing to have when you're vomiting because you're already dehydrating. So, getting even warmer. Yeah. I'm digging it. Alright, folks. Unconfirmed reports are coming in from Greenland, South Africa, Canada, Cuba. 
Peru, Argentina, India. People are dying left and right just suddenly because all of a sudden this, the collective will of this disease, just decided to flip the magic I'm going to be deadly now switch. North Africa, Indonesia, oh see, they're starting to do all kinds of crazy stuff. Up, oh, the government of Brazil shut down their hospitals. Up, oh. let me slow down a little bit. Yeah, they're exterminating rodents, burning bodies, establishing curfews. See this? We immediately went from all 24 hospitals in the world, because of course the world only has 24 hospitals, working on this non-stop and it was going to take them like 25 days to work out a vaccine. Boom, now we're down to 10 active hospitals and it's going to take twice as long. So we just need to uh, get those other countries to uh, freak out a little more so that, uh, so that we will be able to get the job done. Don't worry folks, we're gonna get the job done. Yep, see, Canada. They shut down their hospitals. Was it Canada? I know I saw somebody shutting down their hospitals going by there. Alright, let's look at the world. See, now there's only four hospitals left. It's gonna take, you know, twice as long as it did before. See, that's how math works. Well, I mean, you know, more or less. Um, if we wanted to, we could add another low-level symptom. We could add uh, well, pulmonary edema. That's pretty serious. Yeah, let's give people pulmonary edema. If I had more evolution points, I'd put them into more fun stuff. Like... Uh, yeah, actually, you know, I don't think I've actually looked yet to see what uh, life is like. Argentina. Whoa, look at that, folks. Millions and millions are dead in Argentina. And we can see the casualties rising in Brazil as well. Whew. This is tough stuff. Yes, lots and lots of people are dying. And that's what we're after. Ah, down to two hospitals working on it on a cure. It's going to take them 147 days. I don't think it's going to be enough. What do you folks at home think? Only 70 days have passed in the simulation so far. And, uh, you know, shoot, we've, we've torn up millions of people. How many people have we killed? Oh, my gosh. What is that? About a billion people, almost two billion people? Am I reading that right? Could be. Anyhow. You know what, folks? We're not quite at 15 minutes yet, but, uh... We're gonna need one more video, but we're not gonna need much. We have humanity on its knees. Don't worry, folks. We've managed to eradicate the human race. Using the you know, united will of these uh, tiny parasites. What do you think of that, Eve? Huh? Huh? Anyhow, I'm Bobo the Vulture. This is Let's Play Pandemic 2. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.